Spookadelic Drawing Challenge, Day 3, Spectre. This is probably my favorite drawing that I've done. And yes, I know I've only done three so far, but it's still my favorite and I absolutely love how this one turned out. For this specter, I wanted to incorporate a sort of burning, misty skeleton appearance and also to set it in an old graveyard. I really feel like this style gives it a classic dark fantasy vibe, which is perfect because I wanted the overall feeling to be like a 1970s blacklight poster. To add to the feeling of a blacklight poster, I chose a limited but vibrant color palette of yellow, cyan, green, and magenta. Authentic blacklight posters use what is called flocking, which are the black felt-like fibers used to contrast the bright fluorescent inks. Under a blacklight, the phosphors in the inks react to UV light, which give the posters their classic neon look. I wanted to be mindful of the colors here to really sell the illusion that this drawing could glow under a blacklight. After coloring in some of the grass, I proceeded to fill in the black background first in order to help see some of the shapes in the subject a little better. I then went and added in some more details and then proceeded to erase some of the pencil lines before coloring in the specter. I decided to color in the specter with magenta to add to the vintage feeling, but I also added in some highlights and shadows on the bones using yellow and cyan to create this imperfect, old-school effect you really see a lot in true offset printing. Now, unfortunately I lost some footage here, but I chose to use yellow in the ghostly aura to complement the magenta. And now I'm just going in with some white to add in some highlights and some stars to really add a celestial feeling to the piece. I also added in some magenta and cyan to the stars as well to vary in some of the colors. My only wish is that this thing could actually glow in the dark, but overall I love the way this specter looks and I'm so happy with how it turned out.